This is the iPad mini 6 and it's the best iPad of 2022. Now that might sound a little bit funny or odd because this iPad actually didn't get released in 2022. In fact, it was released in 2021. But still, I believe in this so strongly that I actually recently ordered an iPad mini 6 for my own personal use at home for various reasons as I'm gonna get into in this review. Now, yes, we did get three other new iPads that actually did get released in 2022, but they're honestly all pretty meh. We did get the iPad Air 5, which came out with the M1 chip, but that was the only major difference, and it was kind of overkill due to the fact that the display was still 60 hertz, so the M1 power wasn't even really used. Then we had the iPad 10, which is actually a really great redesign, but they gimped it with a slow USB-C port that still only supports USB 2.0 transfer speeds, as well as only supporting the original Apple Pencil while requiring a dongle to use it. And don't forget the huge price increase up to $450. And finally, the M2 iPad Pro was also meh because it was the smallest update Apple has ever made to an iPad Pro, mostly just swapping out the already overkill M1 chip for an even more overkill M2 chip. But now looking back at the iPad mini 6, which has been out for over a year already, I personally think that right now, this is the best value iPad you can buy as long as you're not trying to replace your laptop and you wanna use it for iPad things. And that's the idea that changed my whole perspective on reviewing this iPad mini again after a full year, especially now that you can easily find it on sale for 20% off on Amazon or just $400, which is actually less than the new iPad 10 while having an even faster A15 chip. So even though it's over a year old, it's honestly gonna have the same or even more lasting value because Apple usually discontinues software updates for products based on the chip generation it comes with. So even as we transition into the new 2023 year, let's get into why I personally recommend the iPad mini 6 over all of the other iPads. What I've come to realize over the past year is that there are two buyers when it comes to iPads. Those who wanna use it as a laptop replacement or an artistic device, and then there are those who just wanna use it like a regular tablet for media consumption. And hands down, I've realized that I'm in the basic basic tablet user camp, mostly because I already have a 16 inch MacBook Pro at home with a huge display for when I need to actually use a computer with a keyboard for productivity, research, business work, or even watching a movie with those crazy nice speakers. So when I thought of which iPad would be best in my situation to fill the gaps, there's no other answer than the iPad mini 6 for one main reason. This has something that no other iPad has, the size and the portability. Yes, you can hold this thing in one hand like I am doing right now, and you can't do that with any other iPad. So basically, this is the perfect size for many things like gaming in your hands. It's much easier to use the Touch ID button than the other larger iPads. And of course, it is the perfect size for kids if they wanna watch videos, watch cartoons, or play games. This is basically the perfect iPad size ever made, I have to argue that. Now, of course, the previous iPad mini 5 was also small, but it had some issues like coming with the older design, which wasted space on the front with that home button, while the new one has an edge-to-edge -edge display with even bezels all around, making it easier to use in your hands, especially for controls within games. The older one, of course, came with the old lightning port, and it had speakers on only one side, which was the biggest annoyance ever. And speaking of the speakers, the new stereo speakers on the Mini 6 are excellent and more than enough for regular content consumption and gaming. 
And speaking of gaming, the A15 chip provides more than enough performance to get a perfect 60 FPS gaming experience and basically any game out there. And don't just take my words for it, Dame Tech on YouTube has tested the Mini 6 extensively and he's shown multiple times that even in the most graphically intensive game out there, Genshin Impact, it got an average of 59.1 FPS, which is basically perfect if you account for a slight variation, which all devices have. Not only that, but the experience is top notch because the Mini is the perfect size and weight to hold in your hands for long periods of time, and you can't say that for the rest of the larger iPads. And on top of that, the controls are so easy to access with your thumbs because of the thin and even bezels, and don't forget the stereo speakers on both sides to help complete the experience. Experience. Now on the other hand, if you're simply using it as a tablet to browse the web or various apps, it's such a pleasant experience, being perfectly snappy and smooth and providing just enough display size for easy readability. Now in terms of the actual battery life of this device, it's not the best out there, particularly in terms of the iPad lineup, but it's actually still very impressive, beating out the larger iPad Air and the 12.9 inch iPad Pro in various battery life tests that I've seen on YouTube. And I've gotta say, getting almost 10 hours of usage out of this small tablet is honestly very impressive. And then of course, if you really wanted to, you could grab the second gen Apple Pencil and use it as an art or note taking device, unlike the new iPad 10, which still only supports the old Apple Pencil. I can't believe they did that. And even if you need to do some more serious work on it, the faster USB-C port is just fine for transferring footage or files, and you could do some simple editing on this as well if you'd like. And the awesome thing is that the A15 chip is still really quick for doing stuff like that. Of course, not as fast as the M1 or M2 chips, but it's gonna get the job done if you really need to on occasion. But for everything else, the iPad mini is just absolutely killer in terms of using it like a basic tablet. It gives you the most convenient experience you can get while honestly being the lowest priced, modern and redesigned iPad you can get right now, as long as you can get it for the $400 current sale price on Amazon. So with that said, those are all of the reasons why I firmly believe that this iPad mini 6 is the best iPad you can buy going into the 2023 new year. So if you agree with me, check it out using the YouTube product tag feature below and click that circle above to subscribe for more videos and reviews like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.